When it comes to teaching online, creating community with your students is so integral to making sure that they stay engaged throughout the whole semester. So while regular classes have icebreakers that involve being there in person, today I'm going to give you five suggestions of icebreakers that you can use when teaching online. Hey there, it's Erica from Ever Educating, and this channel is all about teaching tips, tools, resources, and ideas for new college instructors. So go ahead and subscribe if you want to make sure not to miss out on all that advice. Today specifically we're talking about how to create icebreakers when you're teaching online because of course we're all stuck at home at the moment and who knows when that will change. Icebreakers are really important to make sure that students get engaged and get comfortable with your class. And so I do have two other videos talking about icebreakers that were just regular icebreakers during face-to-face -face classes. But today it's my five tips for icebreaker activities that you can do with your college students or really with any students that are younger, high school is fine too. Okay, so we're gonna begin with the try and true one just as a reminder in case you didn't realize this option. And that's to just create an introduce yourself forum post for your students to complete during the first week of class. Okay, so I'll go ahead and show my screen what I mean by this, but basically you're gonna create a new discussion forum and you're gonna call it introduce yourself, right? And you'll give them a, you know, instructions. So introduce yourself to your classmates by providing the following information. So your name or your nickname you prefer, um, what your favorite courses that you've taken so far in college, where are you from, you know, what's your favorite ex, right? So just kind of give them a list of things that they can talk about to get them to start seeing similarities between their class members and themselves. So one that I always ask in mine, which I have as an optional question, is if you, they want to tell you what pronouns they prefer, right? Um, but really, it's up to you. I do about five to six questions in this kind of activity to keep it very brief. And then so students just answer it in the discussion forum and then you know you might kind of push them to reply to at least a couple of their classmates as well kind of comparing notes okay so that's a very basic you know creating community activity icebreaker it's just using the discussion forum okay because then those are text-based responses however my second tip is to kind of bring it up a notch and that's to use flipgrid for icebreakers not only during week one but throughout the semester as well and so Flipgrid, if you're not familiar with it, I do have a video on a kind of a brief tutorial on the tool, but it's basically a video-based um, teaching or instructional tool. So you have, again, a forum post that you start and you give it a, a prompt, and then you can kind of say how much time students need to reply in video form. So if you ask the question, hey, you know, what do you want all your classmates and I to know about you? respond with a two minute video, right? And you had that setting for two minutes. And then underneath that prompt, there'll be a button saying, hey, record your response. And so each student records a video response answering that prompt, okay? So you can do this again during week one and then also throughout the semester to kind of keep creating either regular homework assignments or just icebreakers that they can do to really engage with each other and create that community feel. So people can respond to each other's videos as well. So you can have that as part of the assignment prompt two, so you know, respond to my prompt, but then also reply to three of your classmates as well. So again, I'll have that on the screen so you can kind of get a sense of how it works, but really there's that full video on the Flipgrid tutorial, which I'll link below in the description box. Okay, so after that, again, thinking of more multimodal ideas is have students create soundtracks on like, for example, Spotify, okay? And so you can basically have, give again students a prompt. So if you have to imagine, you know, what this course will be like for you in music form, right? Pick five or 10 songs that you would consider to be the soundtrack of this course, okay? Um, or you might have, you've been through tons of things in your life leading up to this point, connected to whatever your course topic is. Create a life soundtrack of 10 songs that you feel really identify what your experience has been like leading up to this point, okay? Um, or it can just be very simple. You know what? Let's get to know each other music-wise. Give us a playlist of your 10 favorite songs and share it on this discussion forum, right? And then they just list it out. And then again, have them, they can have them reply to each other saying, oh yeah, I love that song too. Oh, you know, why is that song one you chose to describe your life or to describe this course, you know? 
Uh, so you can have just a list of songs, or you can actually have them kind of explain in you know, essential to why they chose each in connection to the prompt. Now following that, there's also, you can use Zoom, because I'm sure you're familiar with it at this point, and you can actually create a bingo game for your students to complete. So that's actually one of the icebreakers I talk about in my regular icebreaker video and blog post. But in this case, you'd actually create one. You can create a board really easily using flippity.net. And again, I have a video about that that I'll link up here and below as well. Or you can just create you know, a five by five table and then just put in the prompts on it as well. But basically create a bingo sheet and again, it can relate to your class in some, in some way, and then send that out to all your students, right? And then on Zoom, host a live bingo game and make that a discussion. So for me, I teach children's literature, so I'd have a bingo themed board. So favorite Disney movie, favorite Pixar movie, you know, favorite villain, right? Favorite children's book, favorite genre, X, Y, and Z. And so you can have, all right, you know, p you pick the bingo ball and it's favorite villain. And then everybody, if they had that on their bingo card, writes out their favorite villain, okay? And then discuss, okay, anybody wanna share who their favorite is and why? And have it become a class discussion related to your course topic, but also have it be a fun icebreaker game. And so again, if any of these are kind of like, yes, I'm definitely gonna do these, go ahead and let me know by clicking the like button below. Okay, and then finally, you have the option of creating memes or having your students create memes. And so I use Canva for this, canva.com. It's a free tool to create graphics, all types of graphics. But in this case, you can have them create a graphic that is a meme, right? So, you know, give them the prompt of, you know, describe yourself in one meme, but create it yourself. Don't just choose one from the internet. And so they can pick from tons of photos or use one of their own photos that they upload and then add the text, whatever the case may be. And then again, share that in a discussion forum prompt, for example, as a reply, and then have them reply to each other as well. Kind of if like, I don't understand this meme, can you explain, right? Or I love this one, it reminds me of myself in this way. So, you know, these ideas, obviously, there's a first one that's just the text-based discussion forum response, and you might do that one anyways. But I do think having ones that are either music oriented or image oriented or video oriented can really help students see each other as more than just words on the screen. So if you have your own suggestions for icebreakers to do online, go ahead and comment with them below because I'd love to hear some more suggestions and I'm sure people watching this video would as well. All right, so next week I'll have a new video for you.